And then one more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a video or a It's a video. Okay. And I'm going to take a picture with it. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> this is so amazing. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Tana Greek Nose channel. As you can see today, I'm going to be recounting something that is pretty hard to believe. Well, maybe not hard to believe, but a pretty surreal experience that uh, I'm trying to process. On February 10th and 11th at Trading Card Game Con in Houston, Texas, I got the opportunity to assist Britt Barron, the voice actress for none other than Tifa Lockhart in Final Fantasy VII Remake and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with signing autographs for her fans and taking pictures. Now, being a longtime fan of Tifa since I was 11 years old, this was an amazing moment for me. It was as if everything had come full circle from my adolescent self to my current adult self as a professional actress. And not only that, but as a big fan of Final Fantasy VII. A lot of fans came up to get the chance to have something signed by Brit. And let me tell you, it was just amazing to not only see the fans come up and have that one-on-one -on -one time with Brit, but also knowing that I'm a fan too, and getting to work alongside Brit and also interact with the fans, it was so fun. I mean, I don't think that something like that can really be replicated. Whether it was connecting over wearing the same Uniqlo t-shirt, or meeting the person who wrote Tifa's Final Fantasy Wiki article, ranting about how Cloud and Tifa are meant to be, or how, you know, me and, and this other person didn't play the Rebirth demo because we wanted to experience it in the first playthrough. There was just so much to talk about and it was so badass. Plus this being, what, three weeks out from the release of Rebirth was just so special to me. It's, it's something that we can't really replicate again. But not only that, this was Brit's first experience signing autographs without Square Enix and interacting with the fans, basically solo with her helper. So I was just I was just excited for her and, you know, I was learning the ropes too as a handler. It was a new experience for both of us and something that I personally will not forget for a long time. And Britt, if you're watching this, it was awesome to get to know you and work with you. Britt is so humble and gracious. She was so personable with her fans. So if you get the chance to meet her, definitely go ahead and take that. You won't be disappointed. Uh, she'll definitely sign all of your Tifa merchandise. It was really great to connect with her, not as just a fan, but also as an actress, a fellow actress. Um, it was it was great to, you know, be able to relate in that way. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for that opportunity. She gave us this uh, awesome interview. I think you all are really gonna like this one. And hopefully I did well for my uh, first time interviewing someone at a convention. So without further ado, here is my interview with Tifa. Enjoy. Hello everyone, and I am here with Britt Barron, the voice of Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy VII Remake. And Britt, how has your experience been so far at TCG Con? It's been so much fun, thanks to you. You've been really uh, my right-hand woman. <laughs> oh my god, I get to help Tifa. <laughs> Helping me out, uh, giving suggestions for quotes. Oh my uh, god. Some of, yeah, your favorite. Words aren't the only way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've been having a great time. I'm pretty new to cons, but... I've been having such a nice time. Everyone's so nice and it's like really great to meet people and hear their stories of like what Final Fantasy VII means to them. Yeah. So yeah. And and uh, going off of that, how has it been being the voice of such an iconic character? How's that journey been for you? It has been incredible. I feel like at first I didn't even know I had auditioned for other roles in Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even realize at first that I was playing Tifa. So I think like from that starting point to where we are now, it's just been like such an amazing ride and journey and meeting people. I've met people who are like, oh, my daughter's middle name is Tifa and people have Tifa on, tattooed on their body. And so it's like, it's just been crazy. And I, um, I'm, I just feel really grateful to step into this role who I know is like, she's a very iconic character and means so much to so many people. So it's been exciting, challenging, scary, um, fun. I obviously have fallen in love with her. So many yeah. hours in the booth voicing her, I feel very connected to Tifa. Wow. And I, you know, I'm such a big Clotee, I have to admit, Cloud and Tifa fan. So you as a voice actress for Tifa, what's your favorite thing about the relationship between those two characters? Oh gosh. I think 
you know, I married my high school sweetheart. So I think I have a soft spot for that childhood bond. They have, you know, they have such a special relationship and any of like my maid of honor is my best friend since middle school. I think some of those friendships and relationships that you have at such a young age, at a pivotal age, when you're still untapped, like the real world hasn't changed you in any way. I think you just, it's this really special bond. So I love that I think I'm really excited for Rebirth because you get to see that relationship, not just strange, but you get to see Tifa kind of try and bring Cloud back to reality and remember who he is. And right. I just like, I adore their relationship. I think it's really special and it's obviously, you know, iconic and there's shipping wars and, uh, <laughs> you know, but I love Cloud. I mean, Cloud makes me roll my eyes. He's always so like moody. And <laughs> he, he's great. He's like, he's very goofy, dorky, like Cody said. And yeah. I think that's why we love him so yeah. much. And if you had any advice for any aspiring voice actresses or any, you know, film actresses, what would you say to them? What would you say for someone wanting to get into acting? Oh gosh. I think the best advice I could give a, stay in class. I feel like always trying new teachers, stay in class no matter what is great. And uh, trying to stay true to yourself. I feel like there's so many actors and actresses. And uh, the only way I feel like to really find success is to figure out your niche. Like, how, how am I special in this world? And really tap into that instead of trying to emulate what you see. Um, so that's, I'm still on that journey. Uh, but that's like maybe the best advice. I think yeah. like embracing what makes you unique. And that's probably what got you booked as Tifa, just bringing your own unique voice to that. Character. Yeah. And confidence. And like, I think, yeah, being open to working together, being open to collaboration, to taking direction, especially like for Tifa, I think that's, that was a big part of my callback. I was very, I was like really communicating with them. Like, if that's not what you like, I'll do it a different way. You just give me direction. I'm really ready to collaborate. And so those have always been like my most successful uh, parts that I've played when it's like a really collaborative process, which Final Fantasy definitely has been. I completely agree. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Well, Britt, it was such a pleasure working Thank with you. you. And it'll be, you know, I'll, I'll be still working together with her today, but I've, it I was great. I had the best weekend with you. I had the best weekend with you. Stop. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Cheers to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Tana Greek knows over and out.